which can actually potentially wipe out all your savings and investment. There are more than 30 health insurance companies in India. He wants to ensure that this policy covers diabetes. Now, in this case, many a people fall prey to the fact that this is cheaper and that is why I'm going to go ahead with it. Hospital network. Now, what do I mean by this? You need not pay anything to the hospital, but it is the insurance company which pays directly to the hospital. So what do we need to research? Hey folks, C.A. Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very, very important video. Let me start today's video with a little bit of Bollywood tadka and I'm sure that you might have heard this dialogue ki ek galat kadam or puri saltanat khatam. That is what exactly one accident can do which can actually potentially wipe out all your savings and investment. In fact, one of the tweet from Nithin Kamat said that most Indians are just one hospitalization away from bankruptcy. There was also one statistic that I found which mentioned that 50% of the healthcare expenditure in India is done out of pocket. Now, if all these things are considered, I'm sure everyone by now has understood the importance of having a health insurance. But then people in their 20s and 30s are like, oh, what do we, why do we even need the health insurance right now? We are so young and fit and this and that and everyone has, I'm sure, heard of so many incidences that people in their 20s and 30s are also facing some health problems because of the current lifestyle. So with this we must understand that yes, investments are important, savings are important, no doubts on that. But even before thinking about investments in let's say stocks or mutual funds, you should think about investing uh, your time in choosing the right health insurance policy for you. Okay. Now, uh, first things first, we have to understand what could be the different parameters that you could think of while choosing the right health insurer or the company first and then if you were to choose a good insurance policy then i already have a video you can look at this video after you are done with this but first today we are going to understand how to choose a good health insurer based on three key parameters but why is this even required the reason is very simple there are more than 30 health insurance companies in India and out of these 30, 6 are standalone health and 24 are general insurers. Now, what is the difference between standalone health and 24 general insurers? General insurers will offer you health insurance and other life, non-life insurances as well. Something like, let's say, a vehicle insurance, right? So, so many companies in India about non-life insurance. So, how to choose the right insurer from them is what we are going to discuss in today's video. I'll also talk about two bonus points towards the end. So, keep on watching the video till the end. Now let's understand the very first point while choosing a good health insurer for you. The first point is about the product portfolio. Now what do I mean by this? Assume that there is a person who wants a health insurance policy but not any general health insurance policy per se. He wants to ensure that this policy covers diabetes. Now why? He knows that there is a family history where many of the senior members in his family, including his parents, have diabetes. So he wants to be sure that diabetes is covered in the policy. Now, how can he actually check for that? So I'm just going to show you a website and for that, have a look at this. This is Ditto website where I'm just taking you to this point of product portfolio. And here you can see that they have compared few insurers where you can see as an example, HDFC Ergo does have a diabetic specific policy. Care doesn't have one. Aditya Birla has a diabetic specific policy. Neva Bupa doesn't have one and Bajaj Alliance also doesn't have one. So now what this person will have to do, will have to choose between the, these policies of HDFC Ergo or the policies of Aditya Birla. Now, what could be few more parameters on how he would choose the insurer? Possibility number one, that a person may say that, Are, you know what, I already have one or two policies of HDFC or go, so let me just go ahead with the same insurer. Possibility number one, that's the comfort parameter, right? Second could be about what is the pricing of the policy. Now, there could be two types of policies. One is like an affordable policy and one is like a premium policy. As the name itself suggests, a affordable policy could be available at a cheaper premium, whereas premium policies will be available at a premium premium uh, or a higher premium, right? Now, in this case, many a people fall prey to the fact that this is cheaper and that is why I'm going to go ahead with it. But what could be the problem? If it's a a cheaper policy, there could be a possibility that the coverage is less in this, whereas in case of premium policies, the coverage could be better or I can say it could be an adequate coverage. So be sure that you are not taking your final decision just based on one fact that it is cheaper. Okay. You could also consider some other points, something like what is the waiting period. You can also consider whether there is a room rent clause or not. You could also check whether there are any copay co clause conditions or not. So, so many things that can be considered and then ultimately choose the right insurer. 
So the second important point is about the track record. Now, what do I mean by that? Track record in simple words is nothing but for how many years the company is in operation. So ideally, what can I understand is higher number of years in operation is equal to lower perceived risk of buying an insurance from that specific company. So what do we need to research? We need to research the number of years for which this company is into existence. So ideally, one may avoid an insurance company when the total number of years in which the company is in existence is less than five years. Okay. Now, if I were to actually check for how many years is any company into existence, uh, we can go on to the respective insurer company's website and check that or there is a simpler way out. And for that, let's get back to Ditto website again. Now here you can see the point of historical track record and here you can see five companies that Ditto has listed out and the track record that is the number of years for which they are into existence. So you can see national insurance 118 years, new India insurance 105 years, United insurance 86 years, Oriental insurance 77 years and Ipco Tokyo 24 years. What is a simple thumb rule while choosing an insurer? Higher the number of years of track record, better it would be. Moving on to the next point, which is about hospital network. Now, what do I mean by this? This is nothing but a list of hospitals with which the insurance company has a tie up. Now, what is the importance of this? The importance is that if you uh, do any health related procedure in that specific hospital, which is a network hospital, in that case, technically, you get a cashless claim. And what do I mean by that? you need not pay anything to the hospital, but it is the insurance company which pays directly to the hospital. So that is the biggest advantage of getting treated in a network hospital per se. But what does it mean that if any person were to get admitted to a non-network hospital, would the claim be rejected? Answer is no, claim will not be rejected. It is just that the patient or the insured will have to you know, pay money from his or her own pocket first to the hospital and then you will have to claim a reimbursement from the insurance company. Now, just imagine a case where your family member is hospitalized and the last thing that you would want to worry about is about arrangement of funds, right? So in such a case, whenever you have something like a pre-planned procedure, in that case, ideally, you should ensure that you are getting admitted to a hospital, which is a part of the network. Now, uh, if you were to uh, you know, search or, or shortlist an insurer, uh, on what parameter do you decide a good insurer? So for that, we typically check that first thing you have to check is whether the company has all the top hospitals in India in its network hospital list. You also check that any hospital which are comparatively closer to your place and also are renowned are also in the hospital network. If both these cases are ticked off, that's a good sign. If I'm talking about the number, 8,000 plus uh, hospitals in the hospital network is a decent bet. And somewhere between 5,000 to 8,000 hospitals in the hospital network is also not bad, right? So I hope you have understood all the important points about hospital network. Also, uh, understand one important point. This is your homework that what you have to do is if you already have a health insurance policy, check which hospitals are a part of hospital networks uh, of the hospital network and also check uh, the nearest hospital, which is, I mean, you know, which is very near to you. Uh, just try and visit that hospital once. Check if they have any specific terms and conditions or not so that any pre-planned procedure goes very smoothly. Well, now that we have covered top three points before you choose a good health insurer for you, uh, you want to some you want me to summarize that one one more time? Okay, the three are the first one we talked about was the product portfolio. I gave you the example of diabetes, something like a family history that a person may have, family medical history. Second, we talked about the track record, and there we said that uh, whenever we have a comp uh, we have an insurance company which has a better track record of number of years of existence, the better it is. And third point we talked about is hospital networks. Uh, ideally, you should have all the good hospitals which are nearby your place of residence in the list of hospital networks as well as the top hospitals in the country. Now, Talk, we have already talked about these three points. We also talk about two bonus points. Number one is the operational efficiency. Now have a word with your family and friends and check which insurance uh, company have they chosen and ask them that if they have made any claim, was their experience of getting the claim smooth enough or not? If it was not smooth, then in that case, you may feel that, okay, the operation operational proficiency is not that great, right? Second thing that you should always check is about the claim settlement ratio. And I personally feel that ideally you should go ahead with a company with a higher claim settlement ratio. Now, anyways, I have already taught you about how to choose a good insurer. But if still, if you want that I need a professional guidance, then 
the answer is very simple and for that again let me take you to the ditto website they have 7000 plus reviews and they have a star rating of 4.9 the best part is that they have a no spam policy the, you will get an opportunity to have a 30 minutes free consultation call with them and booking a call with them is absolutely easy you just click on book a free call you can choose whichever time slot uh, you are comfortable with choose the date choose the time and just hit on confirm schedule if you want to schedule this call please don't forget to check out the links in the pinned comment and description box below. Well, till date, I have made a lot of videos to increase the awareness about health insurance. But if you still feel that there is a specific topic or subtopic that I need to cover about insurance, please let me know in the comment section below and I would be happy to make a separate video on that as well. I hope you loved this one. I hope you found some value in today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye. You might have come across such advertisements on various social media platforms. Please note, all of these are fraudsters promising unbelievable returns through stock tips. I don't provide any calls or advisory services. I provide only educational content through my social media handles and through my website rachanaranade.com and rachanaranade.in.